England kick off their campaign against Italy. Rugby union expert Tony Calvin fancies Italy to keep the scoreline respectable when they host England on Sunday. While he has an interesting angle for Wales v Scotland, Six Nations recommended bets 0. 5 PT Wales to receive a red card at 25 over 1 0. 5 PT Scotland to receive a red card at 25 over 1 2 PTS Italy. Plus 2 2. To beat England at evens 1 PT half time draw in Italy v England at 22 over 1 for details of advise. Bookmakers and each way terms. Visit our transparent tipping record red alert in Cardiff by Tony Calvin the Wales v Scotland. Match in Cardiff opens up this year's NatWest Six Nations. And I genuinely don't have a strong opinion on the outright and handicap markets. I was originally all set to give Scotland a confident vote as I think their back row, I genuinely think Hamish Watson is the best seven in the Northern Hemisphere. Even though plenty think I am joking, and especially their three-quarter line is much the superior. And I really like the damage that Greg Laidlaw, Peter Horn and Sean Maitland can do off the bench against a Wales back line that has clearly been decimated. And to that end Wales half-time and Scotland full-time at 8 over 1 did interest me a little. Remember, they are missing some of their more influential forwards too. Such as Sam Warburton and Taulupe Falatau. So, for those reasons alone, if I had to have a bet, then the evens on the away side with a three-point start, generally available, would get my money. Luckily though, I don't have to and won't be doing so. As the Scotland tight five really do worry me. Richie Gray is a big miss at lock. Though an injury to his industrious brother Johnny would have been even more of a concern. But the front row really does look a bit lightweight with so many of their key props missing. No Daryl Marfo, Xander Ferguson or Simon Berghan their three starting props in the autumn internationals against New Zealand and Australia and with the likes of W.P. Nell also on the sidelines. The Scots look vulnerable at the scrummage. If they can hold their own up front and in the line out against Aylan Wynne Jones and Co., then I fully expect Scotland, who beat Wales 29 13 at Murrayfield last year, to win well. But that's a big if, and Wales are nobody's fools at home. As Ireland found out in a 22 9 defeat in Cardiff last year. While I like the idea of Scarlets dominating the Welsh side on a form basis, it must be remembered that they don't always look and play the part. Five of the Wales backline, Scott Williams didn't play, were in the Scarlets starting 15 that were 28-21 down at home after 75 minutes against 14-man. Benetton last month, they eventually scraped home 33-28. But it must be remembered that the Italians had their man sent off after just 25 minutes. 2. It probably means little compared to the Scarlet's general excellence this season. But it is worth bearing in mind all the same. If there is a bet in the match then I think it is a red card at 9 over 1 with the Betfair Sportsbook. 17 halves with Paddy Power. As controversy seems to follow the French referee. Pascal Gazier. Around. It's not a bet to get heavily stuck into. But I think it's a fair punt. As hopefully I am just about to explain. However. Bizarrely. Betfair also offer 25 over 1 about a Welsh player being sent off. And the same odds about a Scotland player. Which combined comes to 12 over 1. So take those odds instead. I don't see how they can last but take them while they do. Pascal Gazier. To say controversy follows Gazier may be a touch harsh and misleading, though I seem to recall that he was replaced for a Munster game a couple of years ago after some moaning from the Irish. But he is certainly not afraid to get his expulsion tool out. I am sure a few Exeter supporters will be laughing at that comment as Gazier let Kean Healy off. 
with a yellow card for a forearm charge in Leinster's Champions Cup game against the Chiefs in December he was cited and got three weeks afterwards and he also let Argentina's Tomas Lavanini off for a similar challenge against Richie Macaw in 2014. But Lavanini was definitely on Gazir's radar when he sent him off after two yellows against South Africa last year. And three other recent international dismissals by the Frenchmen include Australia's Sakope KEPU against Scotland in November. And Elliot Daly and Enrique Pireto were both given their matching orders in the England Argentina game at Twickenham in 2016. That's a fair CV in isolation. But Gazir isnt scared to act quickly in club rugby either, granted. French rugby is no place for the faint hearted, as he sent off Racing 92's Chris Masseau after six minutes against Grenoble last year. He also sent off another of Racing's players the following month in a 10 8 win in Toulouse. And our arbiter also has form in Cardiff too. As he sent off Fiji prop Compese MAAFU at the Millennium Stadium in 2014. Let's hope the Welsh air makes him trigger happy once again. Of course. A referee can only manage the game as it unfolds. And if it is clean and fair. Then we have done our money. But Gazir is clearly not afraid to send someone on their way if the need arises and he doesn't bottle it if someone is already on a yellow. He even yellow-carded two players in a Babas match in 2013. That's good enough for me to get involved at the price. Oh. And I just remembered that Stuart Hogg was red-carded. By a French ref. In this fixture in 2014. I think the 11 halves with Paddy Power and the Betfair Sportsbook about there being a drop goal in the Match is fair. 2. As both Reese Patchell and Finn Russell both like a pop at a drop. Even if the Scot has had his issues with execution in the past. As we saw against Georgia. But it's a bet I can leave alone myself. Incidentally. There is currently plenty of rain forecast for Saturday afternoon in Cardiff. So I don't know whether they will shut the roof or not. Irish eyes smiling. If you read my outright preview you will know that my betting confidence in France a few weeks ago has all but dissipated on the back of injuries, suspensions, and bizarre omissions from the squad. While news that Captain Hooker and talisman Gwilhelm Girado was one of two front rowers suffering from gastritis on Tuesday was hardly encouraging. As ever though. The market hasn't been slow to react and Ireland are now up to seven-point favourites in places. And punters now have a tricky decision to make. Trust in France to turn it on at home, and they are more than capable of doing so. Even if they have picked the uncapped 19-yo Mathieu Jalibert at fly half and five others. Four on bench are set to make their international debuts, or maybe consider that the handicap drift hasn't gone far enough. Matthew Jailbert starts for France.